As unrest continues in Egypt, the country's interim president has tapped liberal economist and former finance minister Hazem El Biblali to serve as prime minister in a transitional government. El Biblali served as finance minister during the months following the ouster of Hosni Mubarak. His appointment came as interim president Adli Mansour and the current military leadership laid out a six-month timetable for new elections and called for amendments to the constitution. Meanwhile, supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood and ousted President Mohamed Morsi remain defiant after more than 50 protesters were killed in clashes with the military. Soldiers say they fired only after they were provoked by violent Muslim Brotherhood supporters. There is no political role for the armed forces and we believe that without the intervention by the armed forces, uh, it could have a disastrous scenario, including a possible, you know, wide range of civilian uh, 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 war, you call it war, or uh, 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 conflicts among the two parts of the uh, society. The United Nations' top human rights body urged Egypt's interim leadership to investigate any acts of wrongdoing by members of the security forces in the wake of Monday's bloodshed in Cairo. The situation has prompted debate across the world over whether to label Morsi's ouster a coup. Former British Prime Minister Tony Blair told British media that although the situation is confusing, the military was justified in removing the president due to the quickly growing instability and massive protest movement. The UAE announced it had approved $3 billion in aid to help the country's flailing economy. The rise of Mohamed Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt since 2011 has unsettled most Gulf Arab states, including the UAE, which feared it would embolden Islamists at home.